This is a hat that has no story. It's raggedy, has moth holes in it, and if worn with a beard, makes you look homeless. I'm Adam Contras, and this is Hats and Mini Golf. Tonight, my guest is Mo Collins. She, too, has no idea where she got this hat, but she loves it very much. Mo is a brilliant comedic actress who spent six seasons on Mad TV, had memorable roles in 40-Year-Old Virgin, Knocked Up, and Curb Your Enthusiasm, and most recently had a recurring role on NBC's Parks and Rec as Joan Calamezzo. She is this generation's Carol Burnett, and I am thrilled to have her on the show. There it is, the Wheel of Fish. You said you knew nothing about. Yeah, the only the last time I saw fish on a wall was uh, in college, and I was stoned. <laughs> and there weren't really fish on the wall. Hey now. <laughs> yeah. All right, give it a good spin. It's oh, not going to fall off. Spin okay. as hard as you like. I want you the... want the red snapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. That's All right. Do I grab these bowls? Yes, <laughs> those. Probably not only. the first time you're going to hear me say that. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay, that was pretty weak, but we're gonna, we're gonna weak? let it go. Was a I didn't want. That's what, hang on, you got a five. You get one more chance. You can either keep the okay. five. That's oh, a tough wow. call. You this see what is... I'm saying? Now you got, you got a big choice. Crap sticks. I, I'll go with five. Here's, I think that's a good choice. I think it's now, good. Now I'm gonna make you spin it again to see what you would've got. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, I'm all about first choices. Right. First instinct. And that's an improv. That's an improv girl right yeah. there. And I'll look what you would have gotten. Guess yourself. You would have gotten that three or four. Yeah, see? see? You yeah. did perfect. You did perfect right this way. <laughs> White gold. White gold. It used to be Untreated. my porn name. Un <laughs> Unheated. <laughs> I never did porn. <laughs> Not under that name anyway. Um, no. What's this thing on the one. end? Is That's it a like... ball picker upper. So like if you don't want to lean over, you just go. That's got my name all over okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, something to pick up my balls. Ah, 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 ah. Ow. All right. Oh yeah, oh this is great. Look at this. It's got a suction. It's like yeah. it's got a vaginal cup on it. It's actually so you can pee standing up. Which you know, not you wanted a lady on your golf course. Mm -hmm. There's a new product out now that is getting a lot of. It's a cup, so we we bleed our. Men, oh, our, the free bleeding cup. Yeah, I know all seen about this that. Thing? Yeah, I have seen that. I have seen that in my own fucking house. I. I but we're not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> and she's the cameraman. I know. <laughs> Does it Sorry. work? Does it, it work? Does? Oh, God. I can't imagine it working. This I had just, to be. It's like I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> All I think about the first time I saw it, I'm like, "There's no way! Like the cup is gonna overflow." And <laughs> oh my God, am I red? Oh fuck! You're best known for Mad TV. Oh, look what I wore because I knew you. You knew I was on that. There you go. Matt this TV. is not. It's never been worn. Really? No, it's been. Because you get that shit, and you're like, "What am I gonna do with this?" Well, I keep it. I'm right. very excited to have it in my life because right. literally, it was probably like my Christmas gift one season from production. Right, right. My biggest thing with Mad TV had always been, it felt like there was the SNL rivalry. There was this weird feeling of, oh. there, and the reason is because for quite a while, there was, I felt Mad TV was much funnier. Well, like, you're right. Right, exactly. Um, did you ever catch out with other SNL members? Did you ever? Did, was there any rivalry that you remember? I would suppose there probably was conversation about that, you know, certainly comparison of ratings and such. Oh. But honestly, when it comes to like uh, the people, well, we're all cut from the same cloth. Right. We're improvisers, sketch people that we both got lucky and got onto yeah. a, a sketch television show. Did you ever want to be on SNL? I wanted to be on Mad TV. When I was up in Minnesota and it just popped out my first and only child, I was right. like, and Mad TV started, and I was like, I'm late. Because um, the women were really funny and they were allowed to be funny. They, yeah. they, it was it's not as much of a boys club. Not as much right. of a boys, it, it, yeah. it was just a comedy club. And the right. women's characters and everything were so strong that yeah. I, I really wanted to be on that show. Uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Now, had I gone for SNL and I probably, yeah. you know, think I probably would have made it, I'd have an entirely different career. Did, now after you <laughs> were not on, yeah, I'm not going to go would. there That's yet. the truth. That oh, is the God. truth. You know, but um, I what do you do? I don't want to get into this yet. Yeah, we got like nine more holes. We'll be here for three hours. But 
there are, there are women archetypes on SNL that are quite similar to yours that yes. got quite a few things that you didn't and I, I remember as a fan of yours going god damn it that's a mo that was a mo role yeah yep. yeah yeah you you can't help but go wow you it's can't uh look back yeah the, there uh, yeah. were yeah that we moment. choose our roads right right right, right. Oh, you son of a! Yeah, right. Oh my uh -huh. gosh! Hey man, I'm down by five. I gotta, I gotta pull out all the stops. Balls to the left of me. Balls to the right. Here, <laughs> Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> Stuck in the middle. Okay. Oh no, that was a little light. That was not gonna do that it. Was a little, little light. <laughs> I'm gonna make up some strokes here. <laughs> oh! No, <Nope. laughs> it's coming all the way back. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll call this the equalizer for nothing. This is, oh, is that what this one's called? It keeps no, coming, it look, actually, well, at least it's not asking me to go well, since forward you're going, at all. You, since your aim is actually so I good, am. just go straight for the middle. Of I think I will, yeah. That's... Get it. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this for, this for five. Get in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go, you didn't yell the first, last time. You, no. That was your problem. Use your ball thing, come on. Oh, use my ball thing. Right. Okay. My vaginal cup. There you go. The ball and the vagina. Speaking of vaginas. Yes. The big vagina. Uh, curb. Oh, curb. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was a really funny bit. Yes. I. Uh, it was. Every time I see you as a guest star, I'm like, oh, now this is. It's a big vagina lady. No, no. I, I, oh. <laughs> I, I say. Oh. Typecast. I say this is the jump. My God, I am so typecast. This, this is town, the. This is know? this is the step where, it, here's her own. Here's her own show. Oh. Because I keep thinking, because that's the way it's supposed to work, right? That's just what you're taught. And I, I keep getting extremely frustrated that everything seems to be one and done until Parks and Rec. Yeah. That was a good run. That was a good run. Um, that was a fabulous run. Are the, uh, are the people on Parks and Rec as nice as everybody Yes. Says? You don't even have to finish that sentence. Yes. I, I, I've never heard across the board people yeah. just... Glow look, about a cast and crew before. Yeah, it, the, there's no egos on that show. There can't be. Look, Amy doesn't have an ego, so you can't come onto that ship and have an ego, right? It's a not good way the, to put it. Not when the captain has none. Oh, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. You would look like a, an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't you? Yeah, I, but I mean, it happens. Come on, you know. Egos in this town? <laughs> Is that what you're asking me? Uh, moving Are on people assholes? Right, in right, this right, town? right. Yes, and they uh, get very far by being such. But they do. You're not being sarcastic. No, that absolutely is true. Squeaky oh. wheel gets the oil or the, uh, you know, the deal, the contract, as it were. I'm going to keep talking to no, keep, bug you. I would. Um, That's what I would do. I, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's my head going on my pillow, and I got to... I gotta. You're from Minnesota. No, Come on. I'm what Minnesota nice. Yeah, I gotta be a not, nice person. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and I made. Oh my that. God! Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? A rim shot. I, I own. I own the course. How dare you? Okay. Make it. That oh. is a perfect shot. Oh. Oh, good. I'm at least over there. That's good. Oh, boink, boink, that might be boink. good. I might come back. Oh. oh no, no. There you go. Yay. That ties. That ties good. We're tied. We're still tied. I was scared that you were going to defriend me when Mr. Russell Crowe made the comment uh, that the reason nobody's writing stories for older women is because there's only two or three that have embraced being older and haven't cut themselves up or tried drastically to be so much younger than they were. Right. And it's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know. Yeah. There aren't any roles for women that are over a certain age, so they try to be this way, but because they're trying to be this way, there's not any roles for a woman over et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. There's some truth to it. Obviously it's not completely true. No. no. Um, how do you go into the auditioning process knowing that? Like what goes through your head? I go in, I say, here's, here's my neck folds. <laughs> <laughs> here's my, here's my lines, <laughs> right. you know, just so your editing people can know what to work with. No. <laughs> do you get to, I mean, you're about to hit a big age, right? We're 10 years apart. Yeah. I'm yeah. almost 50. Right. And do you, does there come a moment you, I'm, you know we're going to talk about the Amy Schumer bit yeah. you know the, yeah. the last fuckable day yep it, it almost is like there was a day like I definitely like I was uh, reading for cougar after cougar after cougar right 
so many cougars. Right. And um, all of a sudden it went from cougar to, to uh, grandma. And I was like, wow, grandma, we're just jumping right there. Okay. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I would much rather, please send me out for the 50 year old characters, please. I don't want that pressure anymore. I don't want to get some role that it says 45. And meanwhile, I'm pushing 50. I don't want the pressure to try and keep looking 45 because I'm not. I've met, I've met some 50 year old women. Yeah. Mo, you don't look like you're 50. Yeah, let okay. me say, I'm very, I'm very happy with where I'm landing at 50. Yeah. I mean, I'm here for one thing. Right. I'm very freaking happy. But you, you know, work on it. It's not like you just, oh, thank I God. Exercise, you eat, you right? Know, you exercise, I, yeah, you have to. I drink to. my water, I yeah. do. But um, part of it is just simply good genes. Yeah. It really is. And do you That's know, all. Do you know what these lines and these lines do? Hard They earth. give you character. Yeah. They actually allow you I to emote. I love my smile like these yeah. that everybody yeah. like takes right. away on them. I absolutely <laughs> love them. You, you know, the, yeah. those, no, it's, but it's true. No, I, because it... it it, to me, it extends my smile. This is what scares the crap out of me, is that these women are starting this in their 20s. Oh, no. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I had no idea. Dude. What the fuck are you trying to look like? You're 13? Dude, they're Dude. all good. I know. <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> Said the almost 50 year old. Dude. Oh. Now, now, then I looked old, right? Um, no, these 20 year olds, they are getting their lips done. They're getting Botox. Yeah, or the so they all this that's why they all have that because they're young so their skin doesn't even need it yet they have that overly polished look right the Kim Kardashian look and a little uh, puffy yes but the problem is that where do you go slippery slope man, man that's yeah. a slippery slope that is, I agree and they'll never get the joy of actually knowing what they would look like if they let themselves be there's but a lot of people that don't did we ever know look that. at our grandparents and go oh you ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Oh good, that be like, oh my gosh, comedy intervention, I love it. It's like, it's funny. That's hilarious. That perfect. Oh my god. Oh, I mean, <laughs> we're, just gonna, we're just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> That's good. Look at this, look at this, that look at that. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. Man. Uh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, we don't know what it's gonna do. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Well, that's not the worst thing I've done. <sighs> Yes! Wow! Whoa! That was a really good shot. <laughs> Not, Not bad! You absolutely deserve to stay tight. Sweet! Time, yeah. Hang on. Burbank. Which can happen. Oh, come on! Ooh, that's it's very stuck. lucky. That's very lucky. That's very lucky. Because then you get you get one you get you get to tap it. The whole idea to get a good score is have it slow down. And that looks like it's going to be good. Ah, uh, two. I'll take that. That's perfect. You're, you're, uh, oh, 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 God! Go, 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 oh, go, go, go! Oh, God! Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, you got it. Ah! <laughs> now I have. Now that's a par. I know. We're. I. Uh, I'm now one ahead of you if you take that. Oh, or, well, I can't then. Yeah. I mean, I have to at least you can try. Blow right now. Oh, that was a good shot again. Good shot again. I don't Go know. Go back over. Oh, my God. Oh, it's man. It's over this way too far. To oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, you got to pick it up. Okay. Another Stay perfect over there. one. And there, there we go. Stay over there. No, no, no. No, no. Oh. Okay, okay. Why don't you stay where right you're where going? I right yeah. where I started. First choice again. First right? choice. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good start. Oh. Okay. Oh, watch it! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Ah, ah, God, ah, ah. Mo. <laughs> Okay, you saved it. You, you were in a movie with Robert De Niro a couple months ago. Yeah, I know. Was that awesome? It was, it was hard work, but awesome. What it, is was, it? it was a lot of things. I what, learned. What's your character? I play a cop. Um, there's two of us, Yeah. which is fun, you know, the whole cop duo thing. 
Um, Henry Zabrowski was my partner. Mm -hmm. He was really fun to work with, and we pretty much had carte blanche with the improv. Oh, no. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll be all over the DVD. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was, like, it, was, it was really cool. I know you prefer that, but does it ever frustrate you? I don't know if you're into this in auditions when they just ask you to improv, and then in the back of your head you're thinking, okay, if I don't get this, are you going to use my shit? Well, they do use your shit. Right. Isn't that, isn't that frustrating? Yes. Okay. But that was quite clear. Yeah. Uh, what do you do? Yeah. I've had terrible things happen in regards to that. Movie roles that, you know, I've gone in and improvised and then been uh, cast by somebody else. Or cast somebody else. And they use your lines. Yes. Dude, I can't. There really no, isn't, it's really frustrating. There really, really is a way to prove. I think something changed in the commercial world with that. I'm not sure what. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what. But. Where they weren't allowed to ask you to do that I anymore. That, but they still do. But they still do, yeah. Yeah. If no, it's I I I've had horrible things happen to me, and I I'm, I won't name those names on camera. Yeah, no, I understand. Because that won't serve me. Yeah, <laughs> clearly won't. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, you're gonna be kidding me! I'm off the course. <laughs> Steer like one. Well, this is my future. <laughs> yeah, <you> hit <laughs> from there. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> well, that was good. You got all the way down there, though. I that was got good. real excited there. You're, you're a master player. That was awesome. That's what you wanted. Oh, oh no. I spoke too soon. Okay, and then this dreaded part. Oh, oh that's not good. Ah, uh, oh my God! Where's it going? Oh, I thought oh, it was shit. Mm. <gasps> oh, <laughs> the funny? This yeah. Does make you laugh? It's a nice shot. Even if it doesn't make it over, it's still in a good place. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <sighs> yeah, I purposefully. Did that's it. perfect. I did it weak. On that's purpose. good. Ho, 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 ho. Ah. Oh. Hey, that's good, Sean. You made up two strokes right there. Sweet. Not, not enough to win, but you made up two strokes. A couple years ago, you got some news. Um, holy fuck, a stomach tumor. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's like a bad, you know, knock, knock, who's there? Cancer. Wow, you're fucking early. Did you re... <laughs> um, <laughs> you know? Because, I mean, doesn't everybody uh, think like, oh, yeah, you're gonna get it, but so you much ain't. cancer in my family. It's like... But did um, they say any causes? Like there was anything there's you could have... Do you know just, what they say? What? This is, and I, this literally was written in a manuscript. Unlucky. That's simply what it was. You can't put a finger. It's not genetic. It's not anything. It's unlucky. So did you have to have surgery? I did. Hmm. But even going into the surgery, we did not know, because, uh, you know, once they get in there and they fillet you uh, and get the big look, uh, they, they don't know what they're going to find. Right. Do you know what I mean? So that's the most graceful moment of my life. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to tell you, can I just tell you about that morning? Because it's, it's, it's so beautiful that morning going into surgery. Because I had to be there at 5 in the morning over to UCLA from here in the valley. There was an accident and the 405 was literally shut down for 45 minutes and instead of panicking and everything it's like I was in such a state of grace is the only it's, I don't know how else to describe it we didn't know the outcome and there was a really ugly outcome possibility too which I I don't know that I would it, it would be a totally different story Alex and I made out we made out in the car like it was the 1950s that's crazy it was so beautiful isn't that crazy? It oh. really, it was one of the best days of my life because wow. there was that to realize my level of being okay yeah. and, and accepting whatever comes, come what may, which is one of my favorite sayings. Yeah. But then also when I came out of the surgery, they said I had the best outcome. So it was, it was just... It was just the best day. Every time I talk to somebody in their 20s where life just seems like fucking chaos, right? Yeah. I always say, you know, some of the best things that will ever happen to you are the worst things at the moment. Oh, because for sure. Because when you get past them, 
holy shit, everything's so wonderful. You mm. had no idea how... Yes, <laughs> but you also have the knowledge. And the knowledge that, that you, yeah. you've walked through it. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. That is beautiful right there. Yeah. Last hole. Oh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh. okay. Let's go, let's go for a ride and yeah. get you home. Do I just open it? <laughs> oh, I love that. I wasn't going to make you duke the hazard. That's cool. Yeah. That <laughs> oh, yeah, it's nice and low like my old RX-7. Ooh, an RX-7. How long we got here until you auditioned and... Uh, a few months. Fuck off. Yeah. It was the universe saying, good choice, Mo. I won't be the first to say it, the Care Burnett references. And yeah. there were moments in Mad TV where you felt like you were watching the Care Burnett show. Yeah. Like there were, you, there were enough, there was enough personalities that, I mean, Stuart, Stuart's mom, I, I, that's some of the funniest moments. And you breaking are some of the funniest Yeah, moments. that was for real breaking, too. I, I, I always, how could it not be? How I feel could bad. you fucking was, look at I that? I felt horrible that I was breaking, but I could not help it. He couldn't help it. Michael is a robot. He was relentless. He's never cracked. He would never, he would just go at he you and go at oh, you. Oh, yes. No, that was his. Oh, my God. He, he would attack. Like, he would go on the attack. I am definitely. Yeah, and I'm staring, I mean, I'm staring at right. his asshole. Right. <laughs> you know? Was that an improv bit and not no? That whole thing was, they, they didn't have a script for me. I just, uh, I went in and I sat there in front of her vagina for 30 minutes and improvised. And they, that's what they came away with. <laughs> Literally, that's it. Like, I, I mean, you're- How does it, so you're obviously uh, someone who just knew you said, I would love to see Mo Rip on her vagina. Well, this is Judd Apatow and right. he knows from 40 year old virgin when I was vagina because that right. was the same thing. Right. I, they didn't have a character for me. Um, I had auditioned actually for Jane Lynch's part, uh -huh. but I didn't get it. She got it, obviously, but they liked my improv. And they said, you know, we're doing a speed dating scene. Would you want to come by and do something? I'm like, yeah. So I went and um, they didn't know what to do. And they just gave me a name tag and I wrote the name Gina on it. But then the second that Steve Carell, and I know Steve a little bit uh -huh. too, but prior to that, so I was. And you are Gina? Gina. Yeah. Hey, what's up? And I thought in that instant they were going to shut the cameras off and send me home. Come on. Well, be because, of, no, the thing is, I didn't know what the Judd Apatow line was. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Like, right. that movie hadn't come out right. yet. So, so I didn't oh, that know. Was, yeah, you're right. That was I didn't know what their boundaries were. But I, there, and I, we improvised and I got done. And the cameras went off and everybody bust. Oh, I'm not, it oh, was, was hilarious. It, oh. And then everybody wanted to improvised with Gina. So that's why I did. And I, everybody just sat down and Gina went around the circle, and which is why the DVD has it. People think I'm rich. Yeah. They think I'm rich. Yeah, no, it's true. Yeah. It's true. And I, uh, I like to look at them and go, by the way, I made $300 for that 40-year-old uh, yeah. virgin. Yeah. $300. What? Yeah, that was my job. That, that one actually surprised me. For a day, for a day, I made three hundred dollars. Wow! And then, scale. then take the taxes out of that, and then take ten percent for agent. Like, for the first time in twenty-five years, two years ago, I lost my insurance because I didn't make enough. Me, in the middle of my cancer, lost my insurance. What the like, fuck did you do? That shouldn't. Well, thankfully, I got married, and uh, oh. he had insurance. Okay. So, wife, I, all of a sudden. I was the wife that, wow. uh, yeah. Y all my years in the business, I didn't make enough in the union to make health benefits. My goodness. Yeah, and that's being yeah. a, a recurring, wonderful character. Right, no. on, a, on a network television show. Yeah, exactly. I, I've always considered myself quite quite a feminist. I grew up with a single mom. Uh -huh. um, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been down that way of looking at things my whole life. Yeah. And something in the past five to ten years has shifted in the movement, and I don't understand it. And every time I try to bring it up, I, I lose friends and make enemies, and I can't, and it's making me a little nuts. 
it's the concept of we need to teach boys not to rape instead of teaching girls how not to get raped. And my problem is, isn't it a combination of both? And yeah, you can't. Y y y it's both. Because there's a I, there's a meme on the internet where the girl had literally no clothes on, tape on her boobs, and says, holding the sign, and say, "I still don't deserve to be raped." Yeah. And I get it. Of course you don't, right? It's about personal responsibility. Okay. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Now, it's not even an issue of feminism, masculinity. You, you, it's, it's about personal responsibility. You said something that if a man were to say that today, oh my fucking god. I've said the really? R word. Oh my! Oh really? I should be responsible for for yes. for him not. Uh, you um, should uh, be responsible. Yeah. Yes. And so should he. Right. Everybody but, should have. Oh, I see. So they're yeah. coming on you for right. saying that and because it's like, they think you're it must be your about, fault. You're only talking about her side of exactly. it. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Well, and that's, it's, uh, it's, that's a bit short sighted. It's short sighted, and it, the other thing that frustrates me is that. You know, I think it would be great if we lived in a world where nobody robbed you and raped you and yeah. beat you and so forth, but until we do, yeah. here's a few steps you should probably take to avoid that situation. Absolutely. I just think it's amazing that women think all men are really rapists that need to know that it's wrong. My mother didn't have to teach me to not fucking rape somebody. That's not something I was ever taught. Yeah. I knew to treat people... I, I, I wouldn't go to a fucking restaurant the woman didn't want to go to. Yeah. Shit, you have a son. Did, did yeah. you ever talk to him about how to treat a woman? Or did he empirically know that just because he had a well, mom? Well, you know, I, I'm not a, a, a subtle figure in his life, right. um, I'll say. Uh, so, you know, I think he understands well, like, um, I mean, to respect a woman. Of course. I also said to him, because this, this happens too, I said, you can say no as well. I said, and also, never, <laughs> ever trust if they say they're on the pill. Oh, well, that's different. Don't you dare trust that. Right. It's funny. I was in a conversation. When you say things like that to the quote-unquote new feminists, they're like, oh, yeah? Well, what? All women are going to lie? And it's like, well, A lot of them do. Yeah. And I know that because I grew up a female. I mean, shit. I spent the first few years using... I mean, shit. Shit. I said, you know what I said my birth control was? The fucking luck of the Irish. Oh. I swear to God, that's what I said. What a dick. I just basically told him, I, I said, if you're going to have sex, you better have a condom. That's all. Yeah, it's about you protect you. I yeah. will tell my daughter, you better yeah. have them with you. Yeah. You just protect yourself. I, I want him to, because I know where his ethics and morals yeah. and everything are. And it's like, but I do know girls out there can be a nightmare, you know? And, and then all of a sudden he's trapped, you know? Yeah. And in a situation, he shouldn't have sex. And right. she's like, but I'm on birth control. And it's like, no, you're not, bitch. Like, don't, if, if you don't know somebody very well, don't ever, ever, ever have sex with somebody who is inebriated. It's not a good idea. Not a good idea. It's prob you probably want to hang on. Yeah. Just, it doesn't just mean that everybody... Just go squirt it in a corner. Get just, it over with. It's just, seriously, that's, t that's what I think sometimes. It's like, really all for that squirt. Like, just, just fucking chug, chug, tug and squirt. And get, get over this weird, but it's not about that. Just go squirt it in the corner. Just go squirt in the corner and be done with it. Might be the best piece of advice <laughs> I've ever heard. Yeah. Of. <laughs> uh, Hats and Mini Golf will be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Hi friends, Goldie Wilson III for RentTheDeLorean.com. You know, when my grandpa was mayor of Hill Valley, he could only dream of having a DeLorean time machine for one of his events. But now, you can rent the DeLorean for as little as $199.95. And you can even have me, Goldie Wilson III, at any of your events with the Golden Package. Remember, RentTheDeLorean.com. To I know we like to act like what? it's much scarier now, but well, it's, come on. It's more prevalent. I think we just hear about it more because we have well, more Well, we do hear about it more, but it's sources. also, we have more influences that are upping the numbers. Like what? Well, like our rape numbers and stuff. Oh, shit, whore mouth, sorry. <laughs> 
We don't. <laughs> you can go through red lights in this, though, right? <laughs> I can't believe shitty they, whore mouth is the first thing that came out of my shitty mouth. Shitty whore mouth. I don't know. How what? dare you say that? That's oh. the most anti-feminine. <laughs> Did you just call me a whore mouth? I take personal oh. responsibility for what my 